Welcome back to Nerd Place! Dad says. Uh. Dad says... Maxine, pop here. I'm sorry, I haven't gotten in touch sooner. I know that you're upset, but your mom and I know you did everything you could to save that girl. Some things are just out of your control. If you want to come back home now to relax and maybe go to a high school around here, the door is wide open. Whoa, hold on! Hold on! So, am I in college or high school? I don't know. Fucking make up your mind, game! <laughs> maybe her dad is just that out of touch. I wonder if that homeless lady's here. Oh, look, another dead bird. Those aren't supposed to just Tornadoes, be dropping dead. Snowfall, eclipses, now dying animals. Is this the trucker that hated me? I think that's the trucker that hated me Always last time. Oh. 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 Do it again. That looks like a tornado. It does. So ominous. Oh. Take that one and turn it in. Right before you know the fucking tornado. Look at that. So sad and disturbing and beautiful at once. What an amazing yeah, shot. I mean, she's here. Probably not going very far. Hi, how are you? I remember you. I heard about that girl killing herself at Blackwell. Can mm. we go anywhere without oh, hearing about fine. this? <laughs> Rachel. Kate. Rachel. Kate Morris. I was with her when she jumped. I tried to save her. I swear I did. Oh, honey. That was her choice, not yours. Don't you carry that weight. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I know. I am starting to see that I can't change everything. Especially when it comes to other people. Kate Mom. Chloe's gonna get shot anyway. She had nothing no more. I know the feeling. But I need to find out. That was a double negative. I have a problem with that. I'm a bigger snoop than you. People pretend to not see me. So I see everybody. And everything. Frank Bowers knew Rachel. Have you seen him around? I heard him bragging that he took a gun from some trip. <clears throat> I wonder who those are. I don't are. know how he hasn't been arrested yet. Sounds like you know a lot more than me, child. I just think Arcadia Bay is in trouble. Maybe you'd like to tell me what you're hiding. What? Uh, do it. Do I, it. I trust this woman. Do it. You trust the homeless lady? Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Out of everyone in this fucking town, at least she's been the most honest. I trust her. I feel like I can trust you as much as Chloe. And you wouldn't think I'm crazy. Too late for me to judge anybody. Plus, you're not crazy. I'm just gonna say this. I had a vision of Arcadia Bay being destroyed by a tornado. For real. Could be. Bad mojo is in the air this week. Thanks for the warning, Max. You know what? I, I'm actually pretty happy with that outcome. Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay with not even reminding. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm. Yeah. Fuck. Okay, not going forth with more information. Yeah, I mean, cause that's another, that dead, another bird? dead bird. Yeah. yeah. Let's not. <laughs> and say we did. Look at all these fucking dead birds. See, I said the first one just cause as a joke, cause it wasn't moving. But it's actually just a lot of dead birds everywhere. This is terrifying! Okay. Did you notice that most of them are those blue jays, too? Except for, like, that Thanks one. Thanks for that storm one. I think that's just, and, uh, uh, them I'm having a lack of <laughs> bird models. Yeah. To be honest. I mean, if you... The model... Like, her hair is even moving in a... Hey, how's it going? Peachy. Interview old. Thanks. Wow, what a prick. <laughs> Having a bad day at the office? Work is dried up around here, and I have bills to pay. Time is money you got. Good thing you're standing that around sucks. smoking. Wish I could drive right out of goddamn Arcadia Bay. The whole town is crumbling. She, she, Snow, oh, well. Eclipse, she's wobbling. That slut suicide. Hey, hey. <laughs> you should leave. Maybe you should leave then. What if I could? And even that shifty Rachel What's-Her-Face asked me once about driving to Los Angeles. You knew Rachel Amber? K 
Can you tell me about her? Nope. Christ. Why don't you get a real job instead of home? I'd love to see you, Blackwell turds, try to drive my 1977 Needham 18 wheeler out there. Like I said, interview over. That was super specific. If I could cross the street and. Hey, no photo, girl. You don't want somebody taking a picture of your fucking truck? So here's where I rewind really quick. This uh, do they teach English over at that arty farty school? I'm done talking. Okay. It's okay, you can be done talking. You just have to hey, talk. how's it going? Peach. Yeah, fuck off. Actually, I wanted to ask if that's your bitch in 1977 Needham 18 dealer. How the hell did you know that? Rachel Amber. Oh god! Do it! My friend Rachel Amber told me about this cool rig in town because I love taking pictures of truckers. You knew Rachel. She shouldn't give a rat's ass about truckers. Or real work. Oh, so you must have known her too? Only from the diner. She was just a gold digger. She belonged in California with all those you know who know what. Good riddance. But you can take pictures in my truck anytime. Take care. Ah! Picture opportunity! Photo up! Because, you know, we're totally completionists here at Nerdle of Place. Yeah, this is us being completionists, totally. not me trying to stick it to that asshole. <laughs> a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. <sighs> Into the fun. diner to distract Frank or something. Or so I don't know, Max is the plan here, and she did not tell me what Good it was. Lord, make it. I'm ready to nosh again. The fuck is nosh? But I need eat. those keys from eat. Frank. Warren. From Warren. Okay, it's officially sold out, but had to fight a dozen bullies off for him, though. <laughs> Freaking nerds. <laughs> I don't take offense to that. Goddamn nerds. I, I don't take. take I don't take offense to that because he is a nerd. He taught us how to make a bomb. Spill. Let me try talking to him first. Classic. You have serious balls, little girl. Bigger than Hanging yours. With Chloe playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. You're no, lucky she... I just took that gun from you. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. Good! In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could just. This is up, interesting. Or even Nathan. And then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. Well. We're just gonna make him pretend like we didn't talk. How you doing, Maxine? I'm so sorry you had to be up there with Kate and she, you know, just know that we're proud of you for going up there. Thanks, Officer Barry. I know you guys deal with this stuff way more than me, but it is hard to deal with. What a I'm fruit. glad you're representing Black Hole Academy. Hit it. Hit it. Oh, next. there's a next. Oh, Let's shit. Let's leave Nathan alone. Do you think Arcadia Bay is in the weird town? Nobody got it. I'd take they didn't a normal city it. with normal problems about now. Called me Bruce. Name's Nate. His name's Barry. Officer Barry. I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. Such a waste. Awful. I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. Yeah, I'd fucking say. He's easy to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, and then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. Oh! Wait a minute. So you're just rewinding to oh, erase that conversation from him? Yeah. Thanks, officer. But I want to ask I'm about Nathan. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. 
Well, you don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Take me over You're not far wrong, Max. Wow! Don't make me backwash this bacon? I was afraid to ask him. Ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay of life. I better finish my breakfast. You know, there was something I was noticing. Huh. Okay, talk to him. Talk to him one more time. How you doing, Maxine? Thanks, Officer Barry. It just I know you guys choose one of the things to talk to him about. I'm glad. I guess she has antenna! Oh my god. Oh my god. I all could this? not stop seeing that oh throughout god. all of these conversations. Prescott deal. Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes you know, I can't unsee it now. To make sure they're doing all right. God damn it! Anything included. Keep this quiet, Max. Uh, you don't need to know that I know that. Yep. Oh, Whoa! Shit. Well. Well, I can't rewind if I'm dead, but we're gonna see. Fuck. Uh. Oh look, Max Amber. Nice outfit. <laughs> By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you tweet bitch. Lucky this is a public place. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. Cops information. But I want to see... I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You were so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Oh, because I'm not already? Calm down, dude. Bitch, please. Right. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now, fuck off, Dyke. Oh, you're friendly. Mm, rewind. Feel bad? Let's Be kind. Nice. Rewind. Looks like she's trying to strangle him. Well, I mean, I would be too. I would too. But his voice actor did Drugs such a sale. good job. Uh, mm -hmm. Mark made a point of mentioning. I'll come like, back to everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You get your school supplies. Just go over Frank and whisper higher education. You hook your ass up. Oh, that's actually really interesting. Let's see what else he has to say. Gonna take us two fucking episodes to get into Frank's fucking RV. So we talked to Kate. Let's your hear about uh, Draco Malfoy's father. You and threaten me. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care? Hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole! Maybe I could help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Wow. Stay out of my face. Ouch. Okay, that. Wasn't there one other option? Yeah. About the cop. Mm -hmm. What else have we got going on here? Oh, well, yeah, there's, there's also there's Rachel, Rachel and Frank. Frank. Cops information. So let's... I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers. Like a babysitter. Bullshit. My dad doesn't hire. He owns. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Forget I told you that. Seriously. Now get off my crack, whore. Keep your pie holes shut. Interesting. Um, this is a lot of information gathering we're doing. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're gonna go uh, Groundhog Day on this, and we're just gonna have different conversations with all of these people, even if I need to keep listening to this guy and be stressed out about him, even though I have time travel on my side. There's something about the blood oath, too. Rachel Blood, yeah. like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. 
Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. Ooh, what the fuck? No, okay. now we're gonna have to go back to the cop. So, unfortunately, there's something about that blood oath too. Hold on, let's do the blood oath. Blood oath, and then we'll have to end this episode. Oh, is there anything from that with him? Blood oath. Let's go. Yeah, there was Frank. There was a blood oath thing. Okay. Yeah, on the next. Uh, let's go. No, go ahead and finish this one because shouldn't take too long. See, blood oath. Oh. Weren't you supposed to keep your mouth shut about the blood oath Frank took for Rachel? Blood oath? What the fuck? I never told anybody about that freaky shit. Besides, everybody knows Frank is a liar and a loser. Even Rachel did. Yet Rachel Amber hung out with him more than you. So, Rachel wanted Frank's stash. She let him take pictures, then he carries around her photo like she posed for love. Dumbass. Rewind! And then we will have to end this episode. Yeah, so we'll catch you guys next time on Nerd Yes. Play. See ya! Bye! Bye. Bye.